In this video I will show how I make corrections for Array 4 paper, color printing in a darkroom and only using two channels, yellow and magenta and we will kind of forget about the cyan channel on a photo hat and I will explain my logic, how I move and make a steps with my test printer. So let's go to the darkroom. I watch you bow your head each day It's a little Things that make you feel this way Don't let their words fill you up with doubt Lift your head and watch your dreams branch out Negative for today is Porter 400 And I shot this photo with a Leica M42 and a 50mm lens as always and this is nice evening light, so let's frame it up and continue with the calibration. Today we're gonna show easy method for beginners in a color darkroom. And this is a method of using only two channels and try to calibrate with the knowledge of only two different pairs of colors. So after I frame everything up, I check the focus on a picture. And in this picture I have incredible amount of sharpness so it will be much easier to focus, you don't need to search for the grain. Because my color calibrator have uh, all functions intact in one, in comparison of Yobo calibrators or different brands, it can calibrate the brightness, so it means exposure time, and also all three channels, yellow, magenta and cyan channel. But this calibrator have a lot of room for error, and now at the moment when I'm preparing this video, I see the error with the color calibrator and why this color calibration was a little bit off. But before we can discuss it, let's transfer 7.5 seconds to my timer and let's check what settings we have on the photo head. As you know, I have a magenta channel which is 10 points lower because I have some problems with the color calibrator gain. And let's put all the settings what I measure in my lab book. So the main problem is measurement and what exactly you're measuring. Because on initial calibration I forget to use my frames and it means I have too much light spilling off outside of the frame of the picture. So and it means on this first test print our calibration should be a bit off. Because borders also influence your color calibration and color mixture. If you're using negative flap pro, you're probably familiar that you need to remove your borders and you remove the 5% for example on the sides of your picture to make a good color automatic calibration. But now let's develop the first test print. Don't you give up now, you have made your vows, you might not know how, but you will find the key. So let's check our wet prints and already on a wet print after you wash it and quickly rinse it you can inspect color a little bit and make your logic and adjustments in your head. First thing what I can see here the print itself looks completely blue and let's think about the color matches and our color palette. We will not use cyan filter so it means if the picture is completely blue we have only one option to add yellow filter and because my major cast at the moment is a blue cast i just want to remove the yellow filter to increase the yellow cast in the whole picture for this i will test a little bit of the sky and the top of the building if your color cast is too big unfortunately it's almost impossible to distinguish between the a little bit of magenta cast and a little bit of the yellow cast but because we're using only two channels, we will make first step and put the yellow channel in a good position and after it we will try to fix our magenta channel if we have problems. So the test strip 
after washing will show us the results and probably you will see in which direction you need to make a second correction on the magenta channel. So let's quickly try this print and make a description and discuss what results we have. For this type of test print I usually make corrections with a step of 5 but if your cost is too big it's much better to have a corrections with a 10 points. So I moved back from the initial position of 92 and I land on something like 70, 75 points and if you move higher you have major green tint. So it means your yellow channel is correct but you have too much magenta filtration. So from there I run exactly the same test with the five steps down on the test printer and run with a fully magenta channel. So let's quickly dry it and check what we have on the magenta channel. And usually you can easily find where is the problem and what is the optimal position for your channels. Because you have a gradation and it's much easier than to make a print by print and try to find the ideal position. Just imagine to make like six small stripes or six small prints each by one by one and develop it basically 45 seconds of color developer and 45 seconds of bleach fix. It will literally take you a day. And here I probably make an error and it's actually 78 and not 88 of initial points because I usually track it down from the last point what I make corrections of. Unfortunately it was not enough of correction scale so I keep my last correction as a good one because it looks fine to my eye. I will watch bigger test stripe and check exposure and check if my colors look correct at least on my point of interest. So resulting print looks really good. I really like the depth of this photo colors on the sky and yellow part on the left building. Because the right side of the building a little bit in the shadow already it will be probably too bluish but if you check the first print to the last print what I make you can clearly see my corrections. And now I can clearly see this is not blue cast, it's actually cyan cast because from the first picture I make a yellow correction and magenta correction and I move them in above in the same direction. And maybe this picture will look better if I have a yellow channel on 65 and my final setting will be 65, 55. But I try to keep off my experiments from the bigger prints so I really like this one and I will keep the same setting, so at the moment it's 70, 55, 0 on F11 and 7.5 seconds of exposure. So the final print should look exactly the same as my test print and from there we can discuss if we need to make any corrections with the exposure and any corrections with the sharpness, masking and so on. So the final print I usually rinse a little bit more to remove all the chemicals from the surface and unfortunately I do it not with the DI water, I just do it with the tap water. This is one of the points why I want to buy the Yobo CVP developing machine with the lift because you can dose different types of liquids and it's much faster and much easier to handle in a one setup. So let's apply the squeegee and check the final dry result of my work. And really good colors and a completely blue sky and blue tint on the building. And a final rinse of the yellow from the sunset on the left side of the building. As always you can find my prints on my web shop. Thank you for watching and see you next videos.